kids. Oh. <laughs> chop, chop, chop. Yeah. All right. Um, well, hold on a sec. Let's wait. Aaron, are you going to be ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Sweatshirt. Yeah. But you're, you can't sit there when you're not on stage. Oh, sorry. So there's, there's a seat right here. Remember, guys, high energy, please. Very, very high. This is what's going to get you work. This is to sell the show. <laughs> Hello. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. We are the uh, actors from... Thank you. We are the actors from Act Theater. My name is Lamar Lewis. My name is Kit Lang. And we are going to perform a show for you today. It's called In My Skin. By Michael Jones. Wonderful. It follows a young girl named Mimi, who, and the day of, a day in her life, a few days in her life, actually, and her relationships with the people, you know, that she knows very, very well. Right. Now, a couple things. One, the actresses in the play are going to play two different characters. So you'll see them play a character very, very, very young, or not very young, but young, and then a character that's... Uh, very old as well. Um, also, we are going to be doing a discussion afterwards, so listen very closely and pay attention, and we're going to have a quick discussion about everything that you have noticed and that you've seen. Absolutely. So, I mean, we want you to react normally. We want you to laugh at things that are funny, and but just, you know, when things are getting a little serious, just, you know, check back in. You know, tone it down and check back in. Keep the focus up here on stage. We don't have any mics whatsoever, so uh, it's going to mean that we're going to have to kind of project really loudly so that you guys can hear us. So just keep the, the conversations to a minimum. Um, All right, so right now what we're going to do is we're going to start the show, but we're going to give, we're going to do a one, two, three action, okay? You guys are going to say action, all right? All right, so one, two, two three, action! action. Mimi, come on, we're gonna be late for first period. Gosh, girl, come on. It's about time. I thought you said you'd be waiting outside. Hey, look, I don't want to hear it today, okay? My grandparents are in town from Puerto Rico. Getting on my nerves already. Oh, how long are they here for? Two long weeks. Ouch, two yeah. weeks of torture. I mean, do your grandparents give you a hard time? Now, you know what, I only really see the grandparents on my mom's side. Mm, they're all right, I guess. Yo, mine are always freaking making me, ch like they're always making me feel like inferior to my sisters. What do you mean? I don't know, like they're just always saying stuff about black people, things like my grandma. <clears throat> She's like, all those people do is buy jewelry and drive cars and buy cars. And then my grandfather, he's like, well, half of them can't even read or write. All they do is play basketball and are rappers. Why do they do that? <laughs> Because believe it or not, I'm the darkest one in my family. And you remember my ex, Tommy. Oh, gosh. Tommy was such a nightmare. Do they nightmare. think all black people are like that? Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Your dad's black. Yeah, my dad was black and my mom's Puerto Rican. That's really intense. I'm sorry, Mimi. Yeah. So what does your mom do? I mean, she's just always outnumbered, you know? Like, my grandparents, my sisters are always getting up on her. And then she gets really upset, so then I jump in, and then it's just... It just gets really ugly. I'm sorry, Mimi. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> so, what do they think about Ryan? Well, they love the fact that he's white. Really? Is there anything wrong with that? Of course not. Of course not. It's just that, you know, I just feel like they wouldn't even really care. Like, if he was, like, a jerk or if he hit me, or if he was a serial killer. I mean, they just like the fact that he's not black. Come on, man, it's not that big of a deal. A serial killer? I mean, you never know. Shut up. up. Come they on, happen. let's get going. All right. Can I ask you something? Yeah, what's up? Don't be mad at me, but it might not be that bad. What might not be that bad? You know, if you only dated white guys, I mean, maybe your family's right. Wait, what? Did you just hear anything I just said? Yes, I did, and we're just trying to protect him, and we all remember what happened with Tommy. Wow. wow. I can't believe you. You know what? I'm gonna go. For Don't follow me. Yeah, but, come on. Mimi! Shane? 
what was Shane there? This is Shane's mother. Is Shane there? Never mind, go back to sleep, T. Ah. Shane, boy, where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. Look. Oh, my God. What happened? Mom, I'm all right. No, don't tell me you're all right now. You're bleeding. Now, what happened? It's all right, Mom. I just gotta go to bed. Oh, I am calling an ambulance. No. Mom, look, I just need to splash my face with some water and rest. Boy, you better tell me what's going on or I'm calling the cops mom, and I mean it. Oh. Don't all uh, mom me now what happened? Oh, okay, I got into a scuffle. Okay, with who? I, I got jumped. You got jumped? By who jumped? Like the squirrels, the beavers. Shane, you better tell me what's going on. Why I got jumped by gangs. Well, what did you do to get jumped by a gang? What did I do? I didn't do nothing. Why I always got to think I did something that... So I can get into trouble or something. Like, usually, I just got tired about faking them, you know? Usually when I come home using the city steps, I get harassed by one gang, and then if I use the main drag, I get it from another gang. Today, I didn't feel like running, so... Shane. How long has this been going on? It's okay, Mom. I got a plan. Oh, you got a plan. No, I got a plan. We are moving into that new complex now, and I mean soon. Now, if I could just what? get us in. I'm... Up there? They ain't nothing but old white people over okay, there. Okay, see, this is not a discussion. Now come in so I can clean you up. Come here. Come on now. <sighs> oh, she want to move us way over here. Don't even think about my considerations. Look at this. There ain't no flavor whatsoever over here. No stickball, no basketball, no bodegas, and no shorties. Whoa. Hey, mommy. <laughs> what the deal? I'm saying, though, um, if I told you you got a nice body, would you hold it against me? Wow. I know <laughs> you did not just stop me with that corny. Uh, you can't blame a man for trying, right? My name is Shane. Okay. I'm saying though, can I get a minute to know you a little bit better? Look, I've got to go. You think I'm a broke dude, right? What? You think I'm broke? Ha, but check it. I will be laced in a few. I'll write rhymes. Oh, good. Another rapper. No, 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 no. I don't just spit. I actually write poetry, see? Uh, the way I see it. How many young white, uh, fly people you know make their own greeting cards, huh? Okay. Yeah, Done. and I do my own illustrations, see? So I have to pay no artists. That way, you know, I collect all the profits. But check this one out, check this one out. Uh, this one's called The Wings of Cupid. Check it. Had I the wings of Cupid, I would quickly dip into your crib, whisper thoughts, of ecstasy and desire and romance in your ear. <laughs> Let the walls tell the world, 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 how like a thief in the night, I brought happiness and love to fancy your delight. Then cover you up with comfort, hug you up like a kid. Had I the wings of Cupid, I would dip into your crib. Okay, that was... That was pretty good. Ah, I'm saying though. No. <laughs> uh, and, and you can get in on the ground level. That way when we start making that money, we can just floss like the boss. Wow, you are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're so crazy. Oh, I didn't even hear you come up. I was just looking for you at your apartment. Looking for me? Yeah. Looking for me? Yeah, silly. Oh, I see. And you thought dude was me. That dude was you. I right, shorty, I'm, I'm out. Uh, yeah. I'll see you around. Oh, she already found me. No need to see you around. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> Whoa, you was a funny guy. You should see how funny I am when I'm feeling dissed. Hey, yo, you got a problem. You guys, you guys, you guys, really? It's not that serious, okay? It's my fault. It's my boyfriend, Ryan. And Shane here, he was just telling me that he's going to start his own business. That's what's up. Your own business. You on the grind? <laughs> Gotta make that paper. I feel you. What do you know about making paper? What? My money makes the world go round, man. My pops put me down with that back in the day. 
Yeah, well, I'm gonna run to the store. No, 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 no. That'll take too long. It'll take like a minute. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, right. Bye. No, 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 Mimi. Uh, Mimi, wait. Chicks. <laughs> Yo, if I wasn't feeling her so much, uh, tell me about it. <laughs> Word, man. You live around here? Oh, uh, no. I live by down by uh, Bottom Road. You're from the bottom? Yeah. Yo, bottom's no joke. You should get a Purple Heart just on GP. <laughs> you must be affiliated. No, I'm rolling solo. How are you rolling without a gang down there? Well, I ain't saying it's easy, but I manage. Yo, you probably know Big Tip. Yeah. <laughs> I know that crazy dude. Yo, Tip can spit, son. <laughs> if I can rhyme like that, too. What? He getting ready to sound with Diddy, son. Word? Yeah. You know what that means? Ah, paper. paper. <laughs> 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 what? Yeah, and he got a serious hoop game. I know, I played with him in the summer league. Ah, yeah, and he got mad jokes, yo. What? Dude kept my stomach hurting the whole season. Word. <laughs> yo, that's my nig. What did you say? Oh, no, no, my bad. Oh. No, 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 I, I didn't mean anything. No, 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 I heard what you said. Don't get it twisted. Just because you keep hitting it with Shorty here doesn't mean you get to say whatever you want. Oh, I, I said my bad. Yo, he didn't even mean anything by it. <laughs> How would you know, Oreo cookie? Wait a minute, what did yo, you say? Yo, watch your mouth. I said my bad. Oh, uh, get out of my face, punk. Yo, 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 yo. You're making this bigger than it is. I said it my bad. It is man. big. Yo, listen, you can't accept my apologies. Kick rocks! Oh, go ahead, Snowflake, before I make a rain blow to the oh, yeah, head! Yeah, I'm right here, Milk Dunn! Oh, Bring it! Ooh, see! I'm gonna see you again, and when I do, Babe. I'm gonna break your jaw See me now! Babe. See me now! Babe. Yo, T-Bone, can I holler at you for a minute? Um, uh, I'm about ready to dump on somebody for real! Ooh. If it ain't one thing, it's another. I'm tired of all of it. My dad moves out of state. I'm still beefing with the bangers in my neighborhood. And this white kid gonna try to poke me down. What? No, he kicking it with Shorty from around the way. I am calm. This is too much. Oh, all I want to do is make it out of high school and relax. All this extra drama I don't need. I do know one thing, though. People gonna stop messing with me. I'm a grandmother. They gonna stop either that or <clears throat> some somebody's gonna get hurt. And this time, it ain't gonna be me. Oh, yo, T, let me call you back later. Um, hey, Mimi. Uh, I'm glad you came back. I got something I wanna say. Yo, you don't have nothing to say to me, all right? Um, no, no. I have to go this way to go home. No, no, can you wait a minute, please, please. Um, my fault for coming at you the way I did. Uh, I've just been a little bit tight lately, and um, I haven't really been myself. Yo, you don't know me, all right? So watch what you say. I just can't believe you're kicking it with that egg. Dude is... But, but, oh, he's white? <laughs> yeah. So is my last boyfriend. And you know what? If there's another one, he will be too. Yo, don't you think that's bugged out? No, what's bugged out are people who spend all their money on jewelry and cars and can't take care of their kids. What's bugged out is that everybody wants to be a rapper. Everyone wants to play basketball, but half of them can't even read or write, dude. What's bugged out is there are more black men in prison than there are in college. So you tell me what's bugged out. Don't blame us for everything, yo. Yo, who gets racially profiled the most? Who grew up in the crappiest neighborhood? And who uh, got dragged to this country to be freaking slaves? Oh, come on, really? The slave thing? Come on, dude. Oh. Um, I, I will leave it, I'll drop, I'll drop it as soon as they let me. They don't have to let you, just do it. Oh, um, you, that's easy for you to say. You got something I don't. Yeah, what's that? Uh, the slave master like him some brown sugar every now and then, know what I mean? Man, excuses, come on. Uh, look, my reality is different than yours. Dude, that's a bunch of bull. Face it, you don't get the same heat that I get. Yo, I have plenty of reminder, reminders of who I am, okay? Like, when I was six years old, 
my parents thought it was a really good idea to go up north to New England. So we're staying at the beach, and so my parents are on the porch, and I go down to the sand, and like I'm playing in the sand, I'm making sand castles and whatnot. I mean, I'm having a ball, right? And then all of a sudden, this kid starts screaming. He's just like, monster, a mud monster, help, a mud monster. So I, I jump up, and I'm looking around, and I'm trying to find this monster, and I don't see anything. Then I turn to the ocean, and I still don't see anything. There. So I just went to the porch, and I told my parents I wanted to leave, and my dad's like, why do you want to go, why do you want to go, and I just told him that I wanted to go home. Uh, look, I'm, I'm sorry that really happened. Yeah, we're... See, it's like my man Malik always say. They want us to cook their food, but they don't want to give us a piece of the pie. Yeah. Look, I gotta go. Well, maybe I'll see you around? Yeah. Maybe. Um, oh, my mom's. She's uh, trying to move us up here. <laughs> she got an interview this week for an apartment in the new complex. Well, then maybe we'll be neighbors. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, my behavior earlier? Is there any way I can make it up to you? Look, forget about it. All right, it's cool. I'll live. I gotta go. All right. Hey, stay out of trouble, all right? Punk? <laughs> oh, wait! Oh, she was feeling me. Oh, I got game, son. Oh, I'm going to get those digits. Just you wait. Oh, man. She going to leave that pawn and get with the dawn. Ooh. Mimi. Hey, Mimi. Over here. Hey, what's up, Lisa? That's the way we're going to say hi to each other. Come on, where's the love? You know, I'm not laughing. I'm still really tired about what you said earlier. That was foul, for real. That was just my opinion. I was, I was being truthful. What, you want me to lie to you just to say what you want to hear? No, but that's the point. Like, it's not the truth. I thought that I knew you. And obviously I don't know you at all. And I, you don't know me. Why are you dumping on me? I gave you my opinion and now you're tired. Why are you acting so sensitive? If you would just hear me out. No, 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 but I you don't understand, understand, though. Like, I'm thinking, thinking you're my best friend, okay? But you're not treating me any different than those jerks out there that are always stereotyping me. Don't look at me like that. Look, look, I, I was just trying to protect you. I just don't want you to... Me, I swear, I would never do anything to hurt you. You are my best friend, and I wouldn't do anything to mess up our friendship. Listen, I'm not going straight home, so I'll just catch up with you later, all right? Mimi, come on, come on, hear me out! You're acting like you don't even know me! Look, I, I just want to be alone, okay? I got sunshine on a cloudy day When it's cold outside I've got the month of May. Well, I guess you say what can make me feel this way? Me, 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 talking about me, 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 me. Oh, yeah. Shay? Shay! I told him to be here when I got back. Boom! Oh, that scared me half to death. I got you, Mommy. You should see your face. Okay, well, I was going to get you if you weren't here when I got back. Uh, what is that smell? Smell? You mean aroma. Boy, you better not be in there burning up my pot. Oh, Mom. You are hilarious. <laughs> uh, anyway, I want you to relax right here because tonight, I'm serving you. Boy, wait a minute. What have you done? 
You know what, Shane? Just tell me the truth. Just tell me now. What have I done? God, why are you... I always think I did something. Why can't I just do something nice for you without you thinking I got into trouble or something? Because every time I turn around, you're into some mess. And I'm getting tired of working two jobs, putting food on the table, roof over your head. Shane, come in. I think you need to go live down south with your father for a while. I think it will do you some good to be around him. Stay with my dad, Mama. You kicking me? You kicking me out? Nobody is kicking you out. I'm just saying that it might be good for you now. I've done the best that I can. And he, he, he's got a, a family of his own. What makes you think you want me to come and live with him? Boy, now you're just talking foolish now. He is your father, just like I am your mother. Now my home will always no, be your Mom, home. No, Mom, please, home. give me another chance. I, I went to the area that you want us to move to, and, and I like her. You, uh, I mean, I like it. The area, you know, please, Mom. So, you like the area? I, I think it would be good for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, 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 you know, a change of scenery. New people, new experiences. Shame. Now, I know you like I know myself. What is her name? Mimi, Mom. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. You should see her. Oh, she's like gold. No, 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 no. She's like platinum. Maybe one day I can bring her around so you can meet her. I don't care who you bring around as long as she ain't no Snow White. What, you mean like a white girl? You know what I mean. Huh. Here we go with that. No, I mean that. <laughs> so, uh, you don't want any white people in our apartment when we move? Shane, I don't care about you bringing white people in the apartment. But that doesn't mean you gotta go and marry them. Whoa, <laughs> who said anything about dating or marrying anybody? Relax. Besides, I, I should be able to be with whoever I want. So then, is she white? Well, I didn't say that. Okay, so then what are you saying? Uh, I'm done with this conversation. <laughs> Forget I even mentioned. You know what? Look at me, Shane. Shane, look at me. I ain't got anything else to say about it. Okay, well, you know what? This discussion is over, but I'll tell you this. As long as you... Yeah, all right, I get it. Uh, look, this isn't even about me. It's about my dad, isn't it? Boy, ain't nobody talking about him. Uh, so if my dad's new wife wasn't a white lady, you'd still be tripping like this. Okay, now I am done with this conversation. Uh, but I'll tell you what. If, if you've you got a problem with his wife, don't take it out on me. Look now, if you want to bring one of them home, I'm going to tell you now, my home will no longer be your home. Oh. You're serious about this? Like hot rent and taxes. So uh, Mike or Ben can't come over and play video games anymore? Shane, I don't care who you bring over, but one black man in my life, marrying Sally or Becky or Rebecca or whatever her name is, is enough. Now, but I'll tell you, if you want to bring one of them in here, you can get the packing now. I didn't even say I was... Forget it. You don't even know me. Oh. I'm going to go for a walk. Shane. 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 <laughs> I, I can't believe that that happened. I know, I'm freaked out. I'm seriously freaked out. So then, after that, so then they go to her locker, right? Uh -huh. And they like start pulling on her hair. Oh. And then, I know, I know. And then, you know, she doesn't even defend herself. She just runs and gets Mrs. Smith. Miss Smith comes like hobbling out. I, drops I swear, her glasses. she just like whips out. Oh my God. Belt. Oh my God. I've never seen her scream like that. I know. <laughs> Well, let's let's just let's just chill here for a minute. It's funny. It's funny. <laughs> this is the life, eh? Yeah. It's nice. So, Mimi, uh, the incident from earlier today. Yeah. Does that change anything with us? 
No, of course not. It happened. It's over. It's whatever. Did you just meet him? Yeah. Do you like him? Of course not, silly. I like you. I mean, do you agree with the things that he said? I mean, he said a lot of things. He was pretty tight, but I mean, he doesn't even know you. Do you think I was out of line? I mean, do you think that because I'm with you, I can just, like... No! That kid's, like, mixed up. I feel bad for him. So... I have nothing to fear. Of course not. I'm happy here. Stop. You're so pretty, you know that? Well, I am glad you think so. <laughs> you know, one day, we're gonna have a busload of kids. <laughs> really, really. Hello? Mom? Why is it so dark in here? Oh, uh, I didn't hear you come in. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. Um, Hello? I, I thought you were taking... What's going on in I here? I thought you were taking Grandma shopping. Ugh, oh, she changed her mind. But you said you'd, you'd be back, like, around... Oh, um, Mimi, come on, let's get let's get out of here. Let's get oh, some. um, what was all that commotion I heard outside the building earlier today? Nothing. Nothing? Don't tell me nothing. I could hear you yelling from all the way up here. Um, shush, Mimi, let's go. Let's get out of here. Mimi, what was all that commotion about? Um, it was nothing. It was just some kid trying to start a fight. Ugh. Oh, would you be a dear before you leave? Move the car. I'm Mom, can you see I'm in the middle? Move the car! Mimi, I'll, I'll be right back.
don't have anything to say right now. I mean, can't you get that through your thick head? So you're just gonna you're just gonna make up your mind and shut me out? I mean, think whatever you want to think, but I just don't have anything to say. That's real mature. I I know. It's just that. <sighs> you know what? Forget it. Man, what is it, Lisa? I've been calling and texting you all day. Are you ignoring me? No, it's just that I don't have anything to say right now. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Look, I just don't have anything to say, but I'll give you a call later. Yeah. I, you know, I'm really sorry about what I said. I didn't mean it. I, it's just... Listen, okay? I, can, I can't do this right now, but I will give you a call later, okay? You know what? Just don't even bother. Hey, Mimi, can I holler at you for a minute? <laughs> Mimi, what do you want? Mimi, who are you, really? Mimi, what do you believe in? Mimi, what do you want? Mimi, who are you, really? Mimi, what do you believe in? Mimi, what do you want? Mimi, who are you, Mimi, what do you want? 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 Just need a minute to think. <sighs> okay, that's the end of our play. Give yourself a hand, guys. Give yourself a hand. You've been a great audience. So thank you guys so much. So first we want to start off by saying, what do you think my character Mimi, what do you think she needed to think about? <laughs> 